everyone. I'm here with just a quick video to show you what decks I'm working with for the month of May. So if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, these are the ones that you're going to see for uh, pulling the daily card draws and the weekly oracle. This is what I'm working with. This is probably if you order a reading from me, it's probably the cards you're going to get uh, a reading from. Unless, you know, I do have readings that use specific cards or sometimes I just feel called to use a particular deck for someone. But generally speaking, these are the ones that you'll probably see. Uh, let me know what decks you're using for the month of May as well. I'm very curious to see that. So first of all, for my tarot deck for the month is the Force of Enchantment Tarot. I think I actually used this in December, but I'm feeling called with the springtime energies to work with this beautiful deck again. So this is the Llewellyn deck. It's got the magnetic closure here, which I love. It's got beautiful green on the inside. It comes with a really lovely full color book. I really love that they're doing these now. Beautiful, glossy, full color. Each card, major and minor, has a page worth of information. Really, really beautiful. Just lovely. I think there's room at the back here for notes as well. If you're into that, you can do that. So beautiful book that comes with it. But yeah, I just felt like this very sort of green energy and it might be me wanting spring to really kind of hurry up. Oh, I have to show you, there's a beautiful swan at the bottom there. So lovely. All right. So this deck is gorgeous. Uh, we do have the backs here with this owl. It's reversible. Um, some people don't like the well and cause stock is a bit shiny and, and thinner. I don't mind it. It's great for riffle shuffling. And if you've watched me for a while here, you know, I'm not a fan of matte cards. I know everybody else is, but I'm just not. I don't know. I find them sticky and the color's not as bright and I just, I, I like my shinier cards. But anyway, beautiful deck. That's the Fool. You have this beautiful white heart. It's very magical. It's very fairy tale like. Um, it's got lots of fairies and things in it. Very cool. Uh, they've changed the names of the suits, which I know some people aren't keen on, but like the, the, the pentacles are boons. That's the five of pentacles there. Um, the, what else? The, the wands are spells. That's the ace of spells. The swords are challenges. And the cups are visions. And so we've got a lot of animals in here. We've got gnomes. We've got fairies. We've got unicorns. We've got dragons. So if you like sort of that mystical fae fairy tale type of vibe this is definitely a deck you will like they've also changed the courts as well so they have i think it's weavers challengers messengers and i can't remember what the other one is offhand seekers as well so the knights are all seekers so there's the seeker of challenges or the knight of swords this makes me think of monty python but but it's a very, it's a beautiful deck. It is, you know, Rider Waite Smith based, but it is a little bit different. Um, but I do quite like it. I think it is a lot of fun. They've also changed the names of the Major Arcana. So this is Judgment, but they call this the Council of Animals. And I'm like, I don't want to be judged by these animals. But they're very cute at the same time. Um, let's see. Sunlight for the sun. We've got a beautiful fawn there playing his little pan pipe. The Eight of Spells makes me think of Harry Potter. There they are coming to give you some messages. The Forest Lord for the Emperor. Very green man, very her and the hunter. The Five of Challenges, we've got a giant here. Again, that makes me think of Harry Potter a little bit. Um, the Six of Spells, got a baby dragon that just hatched. Like it's a very just beautiful, magical deck. Ten of Swords. Broken his sword there. That knight is not doing so well. It's it's a lovely deck. Oh, I love the Seven of Challenges with the foxes running away with things. Very, very cute. It's just a lovely, magical deck, and I think I lead some magical energy right now with, you know, just been in lockdown for over a year, and, uh, you know, it's getting a little getting a little much but you know it's I know it's for the best I will continue continue to stay in but uh yeah I'm just feeling a little like a, I, I could use a little green a little magical energy right now 
And to go with that for my Oracle deck for the month, we have the Fairy Forest Oracle by Lucy Cavendish, artwork by Maxine God. Here. Um, let's put the beautiful green inside. This is a blue angel deck. If you were tapping, that is a child upstairs doing that. So we've got this beautiful artwork. Now, this deck, I feel like the art was made for other things, and then they put a meaning on it, but it's still a really beautiful, cool deck. The artwork is just lovely. It's very, um, it has things from all seasons. That's very wintry. There's like very spring, very autumn, very summery. Just lovely, beautiful energy here. So I think it will pair very well with the other deck. Beautiful green each. It's very fall. So yeah, I look forward to that. Oh, this looks very Halloween-y, very vampire-y. So it has kind of that magical fae type qualities, which I think will go very well with um, the Enchanted Forest Tarot. Now, I do use Lenormand cards as well um, with my tarot cards, and I'm still using, this is my spring Lenormand deck, the classic Lenormand, which I think will go well with the fairy tale vibe, just because it does have that classic old-fashioned sort of look to it. This is just a very straightforward, simple Lenormand, easy to read with. The classic Lenormand um, comes with a book. If you're interested in learning Lenormand, I do recognize uh, um, I do recommend this particular deck. The guidebook with it is easy to follow, can get you started. So yeah, that's what I'm using as my cartomancy deck. And then um, for my own personal use, I do use affirmation decks as well. And I am using in spring, it's Power Thought Cards by Louise Hay. It's very green. I think I showed this last time. Pretty sure I did. A lot of like green type cards with a lot of spring, you know, flowers and things like that. Lots of flowers and stuff. So that's what I'm using for spring. So just a quick video to show you what I'm using. Have you used any of these decks? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know what you think of these. Um, always interested to hear your responses. Also, what are you using for spring? I want to know. Anyway, um, just so you know, for my Etsy shop, I do have a spirit team readings on sale this month at a low price. That's where I read for you and let you know what God, Goddess, Ascended Master you're working with. I have demon, an angel, a animal, a plant, a... Um, a fairy and a crystal as well to show you kind of what spiritual energies you're working with at this particular time or that want to work with you. So you can check that out on my Etsy shop. Link is below. As always, thank you so much for, for being here and for watching. And as always, peace and love and rock. <laughs>